Welcome back guys. Today we are doing a classic Chinese noodle dish with lots of crunchy vegetables and chicken. If you follow the steps like I do in this tutorial, you'll be able to cook noodles like a pro at your home. So we are doing lo mein, not chow mein, and I'll be explaining you the difference while we are cooking. So let's get started. First, I'm prepping the chicken. Cut the chicken breast at an angle. Don't go straight like this. Rather, turn your knife at an angle like so. Once the pieces are ready, I'm seasoning the protein. If you've seen my nasi goreng best Indonesian fried rice video, I have explained why I like to separately season my protein and then separately prepare a sauce then go for the chow mein or noodles or the fried rice. We want the robust taste and flavor for each bite and therefore seasoning the protein separately is important. I'm adding a bit of soy sauce, pepper powder, sugar and just a dash of sesame oil. Massage the chicken very well. And set it aside. Next I'm prepping the aromatics. Here I'm smashing some garlic. This just helps to peel the garlic easily and then giving everything a good chop. Next some ginger. I'm creating some parallel tiles. and then creating matchstick cuts. Next, we are prepping our vegetables. I have some Chinese broccoli here, also known as kailan in Chinese. Discard the ends, separate the ends from the leaves because they need different cooking temperature. some carrots as well. Cut it on an extreme bias, creating julienne slices. These are the vegetables I have in my pantry today, but you can feel free to use whatever you have in your pantry. Kale, broccoli, carrots, whatever you have. I'm also prepping the sauce in advance in a mixing bowl, some chicken stock, some corn flour, some light soy sauce, oyster sauce, some pepper, and some sugar. Both oyster sauce and soy sauce have salt, so just add a tiny bit if necessary. This is your regular sauce ready. I like to add few extra things for some extra flavor. Just a tiny splash of vinegar and a tiny squeeze of sriracha sauce. This is my little secret and really makes a difference. I want you to give this a try and let me know in the comments how it went for you all. So the oyster sauce is slightly thick, so make sure you mix everything very well. And let's start cooking now. Here I have my wok ready. A drizzle of canola oil goes in. Let the oil and the wok heat up and throw in the marinated chicken. Flame is on high and we're going to cook the chicken on robust heat for a few minutes. If you lower the flame, your chicken will accumulate liquid and it'll start stewing. We do not want that. Transfer the chicken onto a plate. And then we're sorting the veggies. First, I throw in the aromatics, our ginger and garlic. Give it a good stir. And then I'm adding the carrots and the broccoli stems. 
same technique for the veggies. Robust heat and give everything a very good shake. Then goes in our broccoli leaves. Obviously we do not want our veggies to overcook. Little bit crunchy is very good. Also the reason why I cook the chicken before the veggies is because I want the veggies to absorb some of the fat the chicken pieces have left behind. Next goes in my egg noodles. Before our chicken and veggies started cooking, I had already boiled my noodles. So these are classic Chinese egg noodles, best used for chow mein. This is what the packet looks like. So ideally for lo mein, which we are cooking today, the cold thick noodles are used, but I have used the thin egg noodles, dry egg noodles for cooking lo mein and they just work perfectly fine. After around four minutes, my noodles are cooked. I'm draining and transferring the noodles to a bowl and seasoning the noodles with a drizzle of oil. This will prevent the noodles from sticking. The sauce goes in. Don't forget to stir the sauce before pouring. Otherwise the corn flour will stay back in the bowl and we do not want that. We have added a bit of chicken stock which will give a depth of flavor as well as the corn flour we have used will give the silky texture to a sauce. Lo mein has a wet texture as opposed to chow mein, which is first boiled, then fried, and then again stir fried with chicken and vegetables. For lo mein, sauce is the essence. Sauce is the real star. Lo means stirred, mixed, or tossed. Chow means fried or stir fried. And of course, mein means noodles. Now I'm adding back the chicken, letting everyone get to know each other in the wok. Toss everything well. And that's it. Our lo mein is ready. Classic Chinese lo mein is so simple yet will make for a great dinner. I'm garnishing this delicious lo mein with some toasted sesame seeds and with some scallions. Emma and I are ready to eat. This is a big pile of noodles and we are ready to eat. Oh gosh, this looks amazing. <laughs> Take a big bite of this, yeah. right? Wow, look at the pile. <laughs> I just thought. Mm. Wow. So good. Mm. Guys, mm. I've kept the veggies very crunchy. I love it. The chicken is so succulent. Yeah. It's got drenched in the marinade. This is perfectly flavored. Everything is just coming together so well. I love it. I'm going to take a big bite. Mm. Mm. Crunchy. Crunchy. Mm. The two secret ingredients that we added, it just makes so much difference. The vinegar and the sriracha sauce. Mm. Amazing. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and do not forget to leave a comment below. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye. You guys are still here? Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>